Phoenix. Um, this is a little report from Green Tunes Performance from Steve. I, uh, I turned off the, um, the Green Fuel H2O hydrogen, HHO booster. I turned it off um, when I reached Arkansas on the way from Minneapolis. I turned it off um, and um, actually after I got into Arkansas, the PWM uh, started to give off smoke and um, I uh, just really not impressed you know with the product uh, it's not suitable for uh, winter operation apparently the manufacturer is not honest enough uh, to disclose the fact that the unit's not designed to run in the freezing temperatures uh, he's not he's not honest enough to make that information known up front you find that out after you buy the product so I do not recommend any uh, any of the activities or products from uh, Green Fuel H two O, just buyer beware. It's uh, it's not very well thought out product, and uh, had a lot of problems, leaks. Um, I would have never bought it, and I'm letting the public know that I don't recommend it. So I've noticed my fuel mileage is actually pretty good uh, without the unit on I'm getting about 14 to 16 miles per gallon with no HHO boost pulling my equipment trailer uh, uh, all I'm using is a little fuel additive from motor coat motor kote dot com and uh, I've got the pole star plugs in this car from uh, inner poles also have cold air intake and a voltage stabilizer from Pivot Racing called the Mega Raisin. So the car is running really well for a 16-year-old car, 1996 model, with 160 and a half thousand miles on it, 160-525 being exact. The car runs real well, um, and when I do find a product that's worth recommending in the HHO arena, I will be more than happy to let you know what that product is. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more feedback from Green Tunes Performance.